Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here and today we get to talk about Resident Evil 8 Virtual Reality, the update because we've got a brand new trailer put out on the PlayStation channel that goes into a lot more detail of what we can expect to see when Resident Evil 8 VR drops on launch day for the PS VR 2. And based on this trailer, let me just say that I think they've gone above and beyond my expectations of how they were going to implement virtual reality into this. They've integrated new systems, new ways of control, new menu interactions, things that just make sense for virtual reality. And uh, it just looks really, really good in this trailer. So I'm gonna go piece by piece and we're gonna break down the kind of bits and pieces that we can see. So the first thing to note is that you have an equipable flashlight this time that you can just pop into your hand, shine it wherever you want. That's going to be pretty cool. You'll see it later on paired up with the handgun where you've got the handgun resting on the flashlights to give extra stability and that kind of gives it more of a cool kind of a feel if you know what I mean. So immediately we're seeing a change that wasn't available in the flat version. Next they show off this scene, which I was kind of hoping they wouldn't show this off. This is kind of one of the scariest parts in the entire game. They give a little glimpse of us. This part in virtual reality is going to be absolutely nightmare inducing, I think. Especially when we're talking about, you know, controlling the torch and... Oh, well, you know, it's just going to be... It's going to be horrifying stuff. we got some quick flashes here of different scenes. And next thing that is new and unique to just the VR updates is that now you can pull out a map, hold it in your hand while you're still walking around so you can see like a, it's like a little sat nav a GPS type thing instead of a map. Just another thing that's going to help it feel a bit more grounded, a bit more realistic. You're pulling out a map, you're still able to walk around and move just like you would in real life. Of course, it's not realistic that the little red dot is moving around on a piece of paper, but you know, whatever. Next, we get to see how key objects, key items, are something that you'll have to physically be interacting with in the game. It's not something you click a button, you actually have to stick these in. We get a quick little glimpse here of how you can use the handgun and the flashlights at the same time. And how that kind of gives it more like an atmospheric kind of a feel. And here as well, you see you're going to be interacting with latches, with doorknobs and stuff like this in a much more physical way. You know, it's not just button presses, you actually have to be doing these actions. Blink, you miss it, but a little quick look at manually reloading the grenade launcher we got here. You see us right here, popping it in. Now, he did it so quick that I'm hoping that that actually is a manual reload. It could be automatic, I suppose, but it could just be that, you know, once you get good at us, you're popping these things out, you're flinging them out, and you're, you know, rapidly reloading. And this scene here just gives you that demonstration of, you know, like a hammer being waved in your face, that... 3D kind of effect, even though it's more than 3D in virtual reality. And here, I think this could be the highlights of the entire trailer. You can see Ethan can now open up his jacket where you can place items, weapons, whatever, equipables. You can store them in the jacket, and then what you need to do is pull out the jacket like you're a flasher or a peep and tom or whatever. And then you grab it from the inside of the jacket and you close the jacket up. And we'll get a look in a sec of how you put things in the jacket. Here, you see, you're going to be physically interacting with objects in all kinds of ways. All kinds of objects. Now, here you see what I was talking about earlier on. How you rest in your hand against the other hand. Like, it's a technique that you would see in real life, I believe. And also, take notes, this is something we've seen already. But on the left hand, you can see this is a knife holster. So you can quickly access your knife by just raising up your left hand and grabbing it with your right hand. I assume... You'll be able to switch hands for left-handed people, but we'll have to wait and see about that. And then here you go, you get a good look at the menu. So the Resident Evil 8 menu kind of replicated the Resident Evil 4 menu to a degree, where it's got like an attaché case kind of feel, where you're moving weapons around, jumbling them around to try and fit them into the case as best you can. But we're going to see something specific to VR here in just a sec. There. So over here you can see that Ethan has physical location on his body where you can store certain objects, a sidearm, a long gun. There seems to be four separate locations that Ethan can hold weapons on his physical body. Two sidearms, two long guns. One of them in the jacket, one of them on the leg, maybe in a holster attached to the thigh. One of them seems to be in the back pocket direction or maybe that's just the back view so you can't see the front. I'm not too sure what's going on there, but plenty of options for grabbing. And here we get another example of physically interacting with items you find in the world. 
And now you've got like an armory shooting range type area where you can test out your weapons, test out the reloading. I'm assuming this is all manual reloading. Hopefully this is not an automatic interaction here. But it is going very, very smooth when he's putting the cartridges into the underside of the shotgun. Although I'm fairly confident that the actual pumping action is definitely manual. And then you have some physical punching, which I'm struggling to think if that was something you could do in the flat version. I don't think you could do that in the flat version, but now you can, like Joe in End of Zoe DLC in Resident Evil 7, you can actually just start knocking lads out with swift jabs to the face. And here we see, again, this one could actually be considered a disadvantage compared to the flat version is how you heal yourself. So in the flat version you press R1 I believe it was and then he'd automatically pull out the bottle and just rub it all over his hands and then that was it, it was done. Here it seems you to pull out the bottle with a hand, you flip up the lid, I don't know how he's doing the lid flip thing, maybe that's an automatic interaction or maybe that's actually some kind of finger detection going on there that he flips the lid off and then you have to pour that on your hands. So that's going to be a little bit slower because there's another step or two involved there. Just because it's slower though doesn't mean that it's not 100% cooler that you're actually doing this instead of just being an automatic action. And you get a quick example here of how quickly you can shoot. You gotta shoot all those lights to open the door and he's just like blasting through them at top speed. And here's an example of dual wielding. Which of course we knew was going to be there anyway but it's cool to see it. And boom. Let me tell you, if you have not played Resident Evil 8, these flying enemies are a bit of a pain in the ass. Cool to see that you can just fling a knife at them and take them out. Now, I don't know if that's a one-hit kill or whatever, but maybe it should be because it's quite skillful to have to actually hit them out of the air like that. We'll get a quick look at using a scope on the sniper. This particular scene here looks a bit strange. It looks like it's been controlled flat. Maybe it's just my imagination, but the way the gun has been handled, he looks like he's kind of strafing with the controller rather than actually use the motion controls. Maybe that's my imagination, but uh, it looked very stiff. And now here we can see you're using your hand to grab onto a zip line and you're sliding down. Fighting in the water, dual wielding. Lots of crazy craziness going on. So loads and loads of cool features here coming to Resident Evil A's Virtual Reality. It's just a week away. Let me know what you think in the comments below. What's the coolest thing you've seen added? Are you someone who's waited for a viewer? Have you played it already flat? Let me know all that in the comments below. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.